kids, big kids, big kids, little kids, comic books and toys for all the girls and boys. Hey, what's going on everybody? Adam here. And Kayla here. And Kayla's here. And it's just the two of us and we wanted to hang out together and do some drawing. And today we are going to draw some monsters. Not any type of monsters. Shape monsters. Shape monsters. So we're going to continue what we did the last time? Yeah. Okay. So we didn't do an intro. We just decided we were going to draw and here we are. Uh, so what shape do you want me to start with? I don't know. Okay. I am going to start with a triangle. Okay. Are we going to, we're going to do it in pencil first? I guess so. Okay. So we're going to do it in pencil first. Hopefully it shows up on the camera. And you I'm going to start mind. with a horizontal line. I read your mind. Yeah, Did I watched you triangle. Okay. Well, good. We're trying out a new uh, camera angle here. So hopefully it shows up. Let's see, I got plenty of room over on this side so you can move over. Sorry, everybody. I know we're not the most professional drawing school here online, but we're doing what we can. Okay, so now we are going to draw a diagonal line. And then we're going to kind of stop when it gets to the center of this horizontal line, which would be like right about there. Okay. And then we're going to go back down and we're going to connect them. And if for some reason you overshoot your space there, we're just going to connect them like that. Very good triangle. Now, shall we make this um, into like a pyramid shape? Make it 3D? I think we add three eyes first. Okay. Uh, let's do the pyramid first. Okay. Because it'll be easier. Okay. So now we're going to draw a line that from the top, another diagonal line. We're going to come down right about there. And then we're going to connect it. That makes it a little 3D for our guy. Now, how about this? We will incorporate our last shape into this shape and we're going to do that we're going to find the center of this character here Is this or the, the, eye? the triangle huh Is that the eye the eye no i don't know i'm just making it up as i go <laughs> this was not planned at all everybody we were just having fun all right so i'm drawing one line here and then i'm going to draw another line here and then do you remember the last shape that we drew? What it was called? Cylinder. The cylinder, yeah. So we are going to connect these two, but with a curve. But right? we need to um, add the legs too. We can add the legs though. We'll have, we'll have space. So you wanna draw some cylindrical legs. I'm gonna draw one line like there. And another line. And then I'm going to connect that with a curve too. And then I'm going to do that on the other side. This is going to be a really weird one. Yes, it looks weird already. Okay. Now, normally I would probably connect the arms here. But I'm going to do something a little different. Yeah, put the arms I'm there. going to put the arms here. I'm going to draw some shapes like that. Ooh, this is going to get tricky, but this will help us practice but our... But we also need to erase too, because we had to draw that. And now I'm going to draw a circle here like this. Or an oval, rather, sorry. But yeah, you are right. I think we are going to have to... Um, erase because we're coming at the other side so we're not going to go all the way we're going to start kind of like in the middle here and i'm going to do a curved line like that and a curved line like that and then i'm going to do a curve connecting them here and then i'm going to do my oval shape here so we're kind of like seeing the top of it and that's where i'm going to erase this line right here Oh, you don't have an eraser. Here, use my eraser. Or they have that pink eraser over there, too. 
Thank you. All right. I think I need to be even wackier, and I'm going to do some more things here. I'm going to do a curve like this. It's just a little light did you, curve. Did you make it to mess up? Oh, you mean like, yes, did I? <laughs> I'm getting called out here. Yes, I just, I, I did not do that on purpose. Like that. Then I'm going to do another curve like that. Okay. And then I'm going to do another curve like that. Okay. I'm drawing cake. And then I'm going to draw, oh, well, nope. I'm going to draw another curve like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna draw another. You shape got like me that. on that one. <laughs> you didn't see this one coming, did you? No. And then I'm gonna I draw thought, one like that. I thought it was a meat cape. Nope, it's not a meat cape. It's so now we're gonna come on this side and we're gonna draw a curve there. You think they're arms? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna draw another curve like that. Wait, those are horns. It could be. I think I have another idea though. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna change the shape and we're gonna kind of go up like that. Wait. I don't know why. <laughs> My name is that. And then we're gonna come down like this. And give him a little bit of an elbow, and then it's gonna curve down like that. There we go. He's flexing his muscles. Now for the hands, I'm gonna do. I'm going to do a shape like that. Oh, great. And then I'm going to do a shape like that. Oh, that would be so much fun. And then I'm going to put a little oval in the center there. And then I'm going to do another claw shape that comes out like that. And then it's going to come back around and connect. <laughs> now we're going to come up like this. And then back down, and then I'm going to do that circular shape there, and then my claw is going to come up. And back down again. What a weird creature. I do not want to meet this guy. No. <laughs> I'm going to draw some, some claw feet too. I'm going to do kind of a shape like that. Well, because it's a monster. We started out where it was almost becoming robotic, and I decided it should be more monsterish. Another shape like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing kind of on this side. Mine, mine is more um, on the ground kind of. Like. Yeah, mine is getting really close to the edge. Okay. Now. Make a wish of trousers. Let's do a curve like that. And another curve like this. And let's get really fancy and do like a thin line in the, in the center there. And then another thinner one underneath. And then we're going to draw kind of a curve here and a curve here. And then from the top, we're going to draw part of a circle there. And then another whole circle. Okay. Is this a friendly monster or a mean monster? What do you think? Scary, right? He should be scary. So let's draw like some wavy lines. That's not really scary though. I, I, I would think this is just scary. <laughs> I have no mouth. But I, I want to draw some teeth. So I'm, I'm doing a wavy line. So I went. I want one. to see how you go. Okay. Okay, sir. And then I'm going to kind of connect it like that. And that then, looks friendly. And then I'm going to put some teeth. Lots of teeth in mine. Smaller teeth on the bottom. Okay, I guess what?
Kayla's catching up now. So thank you to everybody out there that's drawing with us. I know this is um. You can keep going. Kind of a, no, I want I want I'll wait for you to catch up. Because there's a couple things I just thought of doing. All right, so we're gonna go back to the claws real quick, and we're going to um, give these a little bit of form. So we're gonna kind of just do like a little curve that connects from one end to another. A U shape, yeah, very good. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other one. I'm just gonna go. Oh, I see what you did. Yep, I give it a little form, right? Because now we can go like this with our, our shape and only give it tiny little teeth on each side. Go on the outside there and on the inside here. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. And I'll ink over all this. Okay. All right. What next? Fire this... above his eye. <laughs> fire. Okay. So we're gonna give him a fire unibrow. So we're gonna like start at the curve here, and it's gonna basically follow this shape. So it's gonna look like that to start. And then here where we get kind of wavy. Uh, you're so, so you're going to have to make up your fire waves however you want to make them up. Can't draw that. <laughs> of course you can. Too complicated. No. There's no right or wrong way to do that. It's just a matter of making it wavy, pointy, and then coming down and going up and down and up and down. Let's see, what's next? Oh, I know what to do. All right, so we're gonna do a curve line here. Oh, oh you know. Oh, you're not gonna see this one coming. We're gonna do a uh, vertical line up. Oh, he's a robot. And then we're gonna do a curve line like here and a curve line here, but we're going to leave a little bit of space. And then we're going to draw another triangle, but it's going to be upside down this time. Kind of like that. Is he an elite galactic officer? <laughs> and then inside that we're going to draw another line to make it kind of skinny, but we're only going to do it from the sides and the bottom, and then it's going to go up. And then inside, we're going to make two almond shapes. Oh! <laughs> like that. Wait, what? Okay. Then we're going to make a curve here and a curve oh, here. Oh, come on, a nose. You think that's a nose? And then we're going to make yeah, it's so three nose. curves like that. And then we're going to do another curve like that. And then we're going to kind of duplicate that. And then we're going to draw some part circles right there. And then I'm going to draw some mean eyebrows there. What is and then we're going to draw some wrinkles. Coming from the nostrils over here, like that. See elite galactic patrolman. <laughs> and then I'm gonna draw some triangle pointy teeth. And what the, is in it? the bottom lip, I'm just gonna kind of curve around like that. And then I'm gonna just add some little details under the eyes. I don't know if you can see them from the camera. Or I'm just drawing some extra wrinkles, like that. That way he looks kind of mean. Okay. What is it? Then I'm going to draw, what is it? I don't know what it is. 
Um, Wait, it's a tablet. Take so I'm going to draw a line it. like here. And then a line here. And then two lines that come down. And I'm going to draw a curved line here. This is kind of like a neck. And then I'm going to draw another li curved line like that. Then I'm going to draw some bolts inside of this part. I'm going to draw some bolts down here too. They're just little circles. And then I'm going to draw... I thought you said he wasn't a robot. He's not. He's like a cyborg monster. I'm going to give him some curves here, like wristbands. And then I'm going to put, gloves he strapped. Or I'm going to put some, some dots there just for some designs. I'm going to put two kind of curved shapes here. And then I'm going to curve this with the shape of the arm like that. And then I'm going to connect these curve, these circles here, kind of like that. Remember, I'm just making this up as I go. So I have no idea what I'm drawing. I'm just making it up. I'm gonna it looks do, like a glove, kind of. Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing here. But remember, we're curving the lines so they go with oh, the yeah. shape. That gives it some good form. And then I'm going to curve a line here. I'll do it like that. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to add another curve line here. And then I'm going to do another curve line on the other arm, kind of like that. Then I'm going to draw these circles again here, and then I'm going to connect them with curved lines. Like that. All right. I'm going to draw a cur uh, curved line here for one of the muscles. And I'll do the same thing like there. Okay. It's coming together now. Okay, he's got some... Let's see, I'm going to draw some teeth on the bottom of his feet, like this. I was thinking suction cups. Uh, yeah, but we wouldn't see the suction cups, because they would be on the bottom. True, true. This guy is one of the weirdest guys we've ever created. Okay. I'm going to draw a circle where like the kneecap would be on each leg. And then I'm going to draw another circle around that circle. And then I'm going to draw a line, a curved line from the center on each side. And then I'm going to draw a curved line here, a curved line there. I think I'll keep those legs kind of simple like that. Oh, below, I'm going to create another curved line like that. Kind of like the metal parts are going into the organic parts. All right. So now what to do with these horn things? What are they? The horns. You think they're <laughs> horns? They're just horns? Well, if they're arms. Yeah, they were going to be arms. But, but then, then I decided not to do arms. But then it looked like horns. Yeah. And these are like the main arms. But they could have like, we could get really weird here. Let's do this. Draw a circle here, a circle here, and a circle there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And they could be more ovalish too. They don't have to be circles. And then we're going to draw some thin little claws that are coming up. And this one will curve this way, like that. All right. And then I'm going to draw a, uh, a little oval circle in the center of that. And then we're going to draw some little details here. We're just kind of making it look more mechanical by adding these little details. I'm going to add a line from each, two lines from each 
little claw into the center. How about we, um, how we draw like a plate here so then it's like connecting the. Yeah, kind of like this. Like, you wouldn't see it on the other side though, really. Like, like a plate that connects, like these are like a mechanical. Okay, so you show me what, what you mean. Uh, or do you want me to just figure it out? So like, like here, and then it comes. Yeah. Okay. Like he had ears, but then they got like sliced there out. There you go. Or so yeah, do it like that. And then we'll draw some um, little bolts or rivets, or whatever you want to call them, on each in each corner. Okay, so let's draw a curved line that goes up like this, and then curves like that, and then I'm gonna draw another curved line here, and another curved line on the other side. And then we'll see part of that curved line here, go like that. All right. What do you think? You think we have enough details? Or should we add nope. more? Need more. Needs more? Okay. Um, a cape. He needs a cape? <laughs> okay. So, let's... That's like a little, like, short cape, like... The one that barely went to his back. <laughs> okay, so let's draw circles here and here above these lines. And then we're going to draw little curved lines that we don't really yeah. see where they're going. Like that. And then the cape will come down because it'll be going behind him. So Wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah. you wouldn't see it. Yeah, you wouldn't see Little short key. But I'll show you a fancy way to do it. You can make it a little bit longer because then I want you to do this. I want you to curve it like there. Look. Like here. And then curve it like that. Okay. And then you're going to do a line that kind of comes up. And it's going to get thinner when you get to closer to the arm. But I want it to look like it kind of, like, it kind of is like, he's like, he looks like he's like a evil lord okay he's actually like a little child okay so curve those <laughs> lines up so right here. now we're gonna get fancy we're gonna start here in this corner and it's gonna curve like that and then kind of like don't touch the paper with your pencil right but have your pencil here and kind of invisibly go to like right down here and we're gonna have it curve up Okay, and then the same thing where you take your pencil and you kind of guide it like here, it's going to curve up and down into this one. See how I did it right here? There you go, good job. A little tiny cape. Tiny little cape. Okay. Should so, we do a design on the cape? Uh, sure, let's copy this shape like this. And then it'll come up. And we could do a bunch of, like, an almond-shaped pattern. Like oh, like eyes. Like little eyes. And however many you want to fit, you can make them bigger than mine, smaller than mine. Try to go with the shape of the cape and, like, bend them around. And then if you want, you could put little dots in them for eyeballs. How many ink this with markers? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we may need to get some thin markers. Let's make sure our camera's still rolling. It is. Very cool. All right, I say we start inking it up. What do you think? Wait, it needs one more thing. So, let's, um, draw a curve line like that. Um, I, I think I know what you're doing. Do you? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. Then I'm going to draw another curve line up like this and then it's going to curve kind of like a circle like that and then i'm going to erase this line i'm going to give him a, like a real horn kind of like that you want to erase Whoop. and 
And then on the other side, we won't see the full thing, but it's going to curve down. And it's going to curve up. There we go. All right, so we're going to ink it now? Yep. Okay, I'm going to pause this. Uh, I'm, gonna get, I'm going to get us some thin markers because Wait, I think I'll, that... I'll, I'll do it. Do you know where they are? Tarnas. Okay, we've got some thin markers. Um, so let's, what do you want to, let's start inking with the eye. So, make sure you can see my paper. I'm going to start with the outer shape. Uh-oh. There we go. My marker wasn't working for a second there. And at this point, uh, follow along with us, um, or you can ink it however you want to ink it. You can use a thicker marker if you want. Okay, then I'm going to do the circles on the inside. I'm actually going to make my this circle bigger and I'm going to kind of like do like that. I'm going to leave a little bit of white space in the center there because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around. I want to see how you do this so that way if I want to do it. Okay. But Just like that. I don't want to do it. You don't want to do that? Okay. Then I'm going to ink my flaming eyebrow. <laughs> really like how you did your flames. I'm glad I don't have a flaming eyebrow. But then your hair gets set on fire. <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm glad I don't have one. I don't want a flaming eyebrow. Then I'm going to ink my mouth. And my teeth. Remember, whenever you're drawing, everything you draw is just shapes. So you don't have to overthink That's it too not much. Everything. But... Everything is just a shape. It could be a squiggly line or triangle or a circle or a straight line or a pentagon or a pentagon or a trapezoid you know, i'm gonna add a little detail under my mouth just like a little wrinkle of the bottom lip there we didn't give him a nose but i don't think this guy needs a nose no he looks too fierce too fierce i am going to give him a tongue though on the inside and to do that i'm just going to give a little curve here and a little curve there and then it's going to kind of go behind these teeth and then behind it i'm going to color them in so it's going to look like that and i'm going to use a thicker marker for should some we color this in a pencil color pencil yeah um i don't know i suppose we could but that could take a long time I was thinking we'd just leave it black and white for now, but I do want to color it. And um, it'd be really hard to color in with the crayon. You think so? The little teeth? Oh, the teeth I would just leave white. So I just did like the bigger areas in the mouth. I just did those with the thicker Sharpie. And now I'm going to come in with a thinner Sharpie and just touch up some spots. I'm going to add some little feathering details there. Hey, wait up for me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to add some little dots for my tongue. 
not too many because I don't want it to get overcrowded with lines. All right, I'm gonna ink my triangle pyramid now. I'm gonna start with the horizontal line at the bottom. And I'll do the sides. I think this should be a punk taco villain. Not yet. Not yet? No. I guess we have... The fourth book. The fourth book to work on. And then the fifth book. Oh boy. We're busy, huh? Then I'm going to do my... The investigators have like a billion books. Well, I am not as fast as... Our investigator creating friends. Okay, I'm going to do my curve here. I just do the arm. Yeah. So when I go to ink these and I have like these spots here, right? I do them separately just so they're a little separated. Um, literally, because it just gives it a little bit of, you know, makes it feel like it's a different piece rather than we just added some lines to it. I'm going to do the curved part and these little mechanical parts here with these circles and ovals. And I'm going to add another line on the outside of my claw here in certain spots just to give it, oh, i got to finish my curve here, Yeah. just like to give it some, color? some shape like that. I can't because mine's too thin. Well, I was just adding it to the outside. I didn't add it to the inside. And then I'm going to do the, oh, the horn on this side. I'm going to add some feathering to this to give it some shadow. And then I'm going to do the other side, other claw, mechanical claw thing here. Come up with a name for this character. Tyrannus. Tyrannus. <laughs> I think that's been used a bunch. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's a classic evil name. How about Tyrannus Bob? <laughs> Those are two <laughs> names. <laughs> They're... That's weird. Well, instead of Tyrannus Rex or Darth Tyrannus. He's just Tyrannus Bob. No, he's Tyrannus. Nothing else. How just... about Tryannus, since he's got like a triangle head? No, Triangle Tyrannus. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. I should have to do the arms. Well, I'm going to do this neck piece here first. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kind of do the cylinder and then I'll work my way out with the arms. And then of course we have this part with the cape, so I'm gonna add those details. And then my cylinder. Oh, this is gonna be hard with the face. You think so? What makes it hard? You already drew it, you're just tracing it. Inking over it. 
Just a lot of little details. I kind of like inking with these thinner Sharpies. I'm less worried about it being perfectly smooth, looking a little. Mine looks like not impressed. Like he's like, <laughs> he's like, like, you. <laughs> Mine looks grouchy. Of course, this is Krang inspired. Big Ninja Turtle fans hey, here. No? The face inside of the body? I that. Yeah. But it makes no sense because... Well, is it like clear or is it like silver? Is it clear like his face is sticking out or if it's behind glass? Is that what you mean? No, like there are two different types of, of droids in Ninja Turtle. There's the blue one that's clear. Oh, yeah. And there's the silver one. Right. This would be more like the silver one. So we're going to call that pink? <laughs> no, then he doesn't have to. It's not the same. It's just kind of inspired. Okay, let's do the arms. Okay. Do the arms. Sometimes I add feathering wherever I can. I'm going to make this look more like a, if it's sticking out like that. Awfully quiet. Lots of thinking going on here. Lots of concentrating, I should say. Had my teeth. And other arms. You're moving fast. I like to ink. Keola has been helping me ink Punk Taco 3. Learning how to use the iPad Pro and Clip Studio, which is the software that we've been using. How do you like that? Good. You're getting pretty good at it. It's pretty time consuming though. Punk Taco 3 is going to be even larger than Punk Taco 2. Oh, so as anybody that has Punk Taco 1 knows that Punk Taco 2 is significantly bigger. And now Punk Taco 3 is going to be even larger. It's going to be even larger. And are you going to do a short story in Punk Taco 3? What do you mean? You know how your brother always does a short story. I was thinking you would do your own story in and Punk Taco 3. You ready You ready for that challenge yet? You think you could handle doing like a three-page story? And McCarns is... Um, His are usually like... Three, I think yeah. he did like 15 pages in the last one. 10 or 15, 12, 15. Something like that. He did a lot of work. Oh, well, he just inked it. He didn't color it. He did not color that one. No. But he drew and inked it. I made my... So for anybody that is enjoying our little drawn sessions here, please consider um, supporting our channel by going on Patreon and becoming a Patreon member. Um, you can get some cool exclusives, some original artwork, stickers. And this? Yeah, if you're up for um, giving this away as to one of our supporters, we can absolutely do that. I'm going to add some little details in my kneecaps here, some curved lines like that. Do 
little starfish legs, or feet, I should say. If they were starfish, there'd be another feet, foot. And, uh, two more feet. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Cause Maybe there are behind it, we just can't see them. I don't know. Can't? <laughs> Shouldn't they be big? Yeah, I guess they would look like that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, who cares? It's our creation. Okay, now I'm going on to... The cape. The cape. The hardest part. No. It's going to be the hardest part because of... Because of the little eyes? Yeah, and the... Well, you could, um... Keep that part of the design white. Right? Sometimes people have white capes. Or white little designs on their capes. And I'm finished. Alright. Can you use your pencil? Okay, everybody, uh, Kale and I are back. We are going to color our creation. We actually had to um, stop working originally, so we're just getting back to this. It's a different day, and um, you want to add the colors? Mm -hmm. All right, are you leading this, or are we coloring it whatever we want? Well... How about you do a color, I'll do a color, and then we'll, like, share? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. What color did we decide we were going to color the arms? The arms. Was that he's going to be orange? No. No? Because of fire. Well, this is orange and yellow and fire, right? But not the arms? No, because... Okay. Because if he's wearing like a vest thingy, like <clears throat> the head is still a part of the body. Okay. So you want so... the head to be a pyramid color, like yellow? No, I think it was like green or something. Okay. You want it to be green? I don't know. I'll just pick a color. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pick some colors. I'm going to color the inside of his face blue. This guy in here. Man, that's what it was supposed to be the blue for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I need that pink. So. You can tell we're just making this up as we go. You can color along with us, or you can make up your own colors. Whatever you prefer. Mm. All right. We we'll probably sharpen these pencils before we started using them. I'm gonna start off with a little gray over here, but I'm gonna go from dark to light, give it a rounded feel, and then I'm gonna add some color to it so it's not just gray. I'm going to do the same thing here. And when I color, I'm coloring to the shape. Um, so because this is curved, I'm coloring it curved. Hopefully that makes sense. Think we could finish this before our battery dies? Yeah, <laughs> Is that black? It's gray. Uh. You'll notice I always turn my page when I color. I might turn my paper. It just makes it a little easier. I'm coloring all the metal parts. I'm going to use gray and I'm going to use. Possibly purple. No, black is this.
Should Let we make him it. purple? What are you gonna make purple? No, should we make him purple? Oh, his skin? Yeah, cause it's kind of dark in here. I don't know. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. How do we make our um skins different, but they have to be in the same um orange and kind of like you could be like blues. Okay. Blues. Whatever you want to do, I'm I'm all for it. I'm just kind of making this up as I go, so I don't. So which section? I'll take. I'll follow your lead. You're the um. I kind of took the lead on drawing him. Why don't you take the lead on coloring him? Okay. I mean, I did start with these colors, but I could change whatever you want. Oh, wow, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. Do you want a light blue or a dark blue? Or a uh, purple? <laughs> for my metal? Yeah, no, for your body. Oh, for the body? Oh, I don't... Whatever you whatever you want me to use. I'm going to add some purple to this metal just to give it a little bit of color. So it's not just kind of... Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I like to blend my colors. I'll put a little bit more purple in the kneecap than the rest of it. Does that look good? That looks very nice, yeah. Good choice. Where's the gray? This is the first time we're doing a video with these colors, with these uh, color pencils. Yep. Normally we use our crayons that we have. So, it's kind of fun, a little something different. Your brother is not here. He is away on a trip. It's just two of us hanging out. This is an after school project, so we were already both in school and working. Um, we would love to do this full time, but we both have school. You have school? Well, I teach. But if you're enjoying this video, if you enjoy any of the videos that we do, please consider becoming a supporter on Patreon. Um, that helps to fund supplies and video and helps us continue so we can make Punk Taco and do all the projects that we do that hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully this is showing up on camera. All right, so body. what color were you, did you give me this for? I forget. The body. Like here and here? And the head? Yeah. Okay. All right. Wait, are you going to color that gray for you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You could color yours first and then. Then I'll do mine. Can I just do this? So I'm just trying to give things a little bit of form with some different shading here. Just applying different pressure, light pressure, stronger pressure here. Let's see. It's awfully quiet, so whoever's watching this, I hope you're not too bored to try to make it interesting, but I'm usually quiet when I work, so it's a little difficult to come up with interesting things to say while I'm working here. Just try to explain to you what I'm doing. Which purple did you use? 
I use the lightest one. This one? Yeah. So these colored pencils are the Castle Arts Soft Touch color pencils. Got these on Amazon. First time using them. Are we doing the, the head this color too? I think so. I think so? Okay. Uh, no. It will be. Yeah, why not? Never saw a purple pyramid before. It would be interesting to see. <laughs> it would be. In real life. A purple pyramid? Monster. Oh, yeah. Like, if I saw this, I'd be totally freaked out. Yeah, I'd wonder, you know, I wonder I'd, what have a, happened. I'd have a lot of questions for sure. Yeah. Like, how did, first of all, like, did it start like a pyramid, like a pyramid, like head with the right? What came the first, the person in the center or the or the, the thing? Or, you know. well, I, I would think the life story is like so it started off with a, 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 tri a pyramid, mm -hmm. like with the mouth and like an eyeball, okay, and a flame. Uh, for an hour row. Mm -hmm. But then some got aided. Oh boy. But then they had toxic waste. Oh jeez. That their, always does it, doesn't it? In their pockets. Yeah. And then, but. Why did it have toxic waste in its pockets? How did it have pockets if it was just a pyramid? No, someone. Like uh, a person. Uh, and that, this person, because now he's mad. Oh, uh, I see. That makes sense now. And then something had to do with metal or something. Yeah. I shall be sleeping. He looks kind of angry though, doesn't he? It looks like you just put makeup on him. <laughs> kind of. You think he looks like I put makeup on him? Yeah. Really? Because like of, of the way I'm shading it? <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll start with the arms. You have a different blue, right? Yeah. Okay. Because they can't be two of the same blues in a Oh, that's set. true. So you'll notice I colored the side of him a little darker. And this side is, I'm applying less pressure to make it lighter. Because the sun is pointing here, not here. Yeah, well, he's got this big flame. So that's a light source right there. So I figured I'm going to blend in some yellows um, into the front of the pyramid as well to illuminate him. Blending a little bit of the yellow into the blue. And, oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's like his own built in flashlight. Oh, um, yeah, you see? <laughs> now I'm gonna add some brighter yellow here. Oh, this is all. Come down. Note to self next time before we start filming, sharpen it. Sharpen our pencils. I'm gonna add just a little bit of red. Mm. Wait, aren't the feet part of him too? Yeah, I think you're right. And the mm. chomping hands. Yeah, I think those might be different colors though. I don't know. What do you think? Not sure. I'm gonna give him a red eye. Did you get? Oh, you did red eyes yeah. too. Thinking alike. Wait, how many yellow do you have? Half what? Yeah. I'm gonna add a little light blue to the eyeball just to give it some form. for my tongue. And pink. Except I'm gonna do this red. You do pink. Is this the color you use for the tongue? No. 
Ah, this one. Oh, okay. Okay, what color should I do the hands? Um, I guess I could use the blue. I think I'm gonna do one, um, <clears throat> one orange. I think I'm gonna do the inside of the, um, uh, well, I don't know if this is the same blue. Is this the same blue? It must be, right? That's okay. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I was just pressing down darker, that's yeah. all. So should these be Patreon rewards? Should, if somebody wants to become a, we have a tier called Art Lover on Patreon, and that's, you get a lot of original artwork, at least two pieces a year. Um, you get an original commission, which means you get to request um, one drawing, so your ah. favorite superhero, and then you get one of our sketches as well, so. Oh, I thought it was like a, like, you didn't know what you're going to get. Uh, for the other one, you're not going to know what you get. You're going to get one of one of the sketches we do. Um, but you do get to request um, one drawing. So I think that's pretty good. That's a really good value, actually, because I don't normally do a lot of commissions. So um, I just don't have time, and I don't usually... Um, draw a lot of other people's characters. I usually stick to drawing my own. You want something different. I'm gonna add, um, let's see, what should his horns be? First of all, let me see. Oh good, it's still filming. Okay. If you remember early on when we first started shooting videos, we had a different camera and it was always dying on us when we were Filming. Do you remember that? No? Yeah. You were a lot younger when we started that. Maybe harder. I'm going to use this for the... Cape. The horns? Oh, for the cape? Okay. Like for the outside. Yeah, I think I'll do that too. It's so weird with like, color on this. Because the surface is soft. We have a, a cover over our table and it makes it a little soft. So I agree. I was thinking the same thing. Because it always makes it... Yep. So we need a better table so we have a hard surface. Because then we can press down with our colored pencils a little harder. And not make a hole. And not make a hole. Yeah, we don't want to make a hole. But, all in all, I think it's coming out pretty good. But you know what the most important part is? Have fun. Have fun. Yeah, well, I'm glad we're getting to hang out. Yeah. And it's very rare that we get time to do this after school. Is this the one you were using? Yeah. Okay. Don't forget that um, this would be the outside of the cake. Oh, yeah. Um, yep, just let me color mine. Oh, wait, I can use this. No, nope, here, it's you can shadow. use this. Okay, good point. It's good to blend colors. I'm going to try to keep my eyeballs up. white. I'm putting them red. You are? Yeah. Oh, I thought I'd use that orange. Do you? I love this character. I think he's very strange and fun to draw. He should be a time traveler. You think so? I just realized that. Just because he's got the um, head, hand bands. Oh, uh, you think those are some type of yeah. time traveling bands? Okay, I'm sold. Because, wait, then then he could be Pug Taco. He could be. Maybe he's not a time traveler. Maybe he's a dimension traveler. Oh um, yeah, and but he used to be like a normal monster, but then, um, his body got cut off, like. The portal <clears throat> only holded like for like a second, but mm. then he got chopped in half. Interesting. Then the, only the head survived and some parts of the body, but then that's why he's all robot. Okay. And like some things got mixed into him, like fire, as in like the crane. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what this is going to do. 
Um, color the inside of the cape. What co color are we coloring oh. it? I was thinking red. I was thinking this color. Green. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm going to color um, the inside of his claws red. You know, like at the mouth. Oh shoot! I need gray. Now we're black. And we're gonna color these a light blue in here. Add some light blue into my eyes here. I don't even know if you could see all these different colors we're using. I'm going to use, um, what color do I want the horns? I want this one. I think I'm going to try a this mixture. I'm going to try this color, see what it looks like. I think one of my favorite jobs was coloring for Marvel Comics a long, long time ago when I was still in college. I used to love picking the colors and... But you couldn't pick the colors for Iron Man. Well, no, you had to, you know... It just saves the colors. Color them whatever the color they were, but you can... You know, backgrounds and other people and you can actually do different things with color even with their costumes and you know depending on Wait, if they you, were in the dark or if they were did you ever do um the golden iron man did i call the golden iron man no i don't think so um i did work on iron man though um i just i don't remember um he wasn't just golden. I'm just blending in some other colors in here to make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah. I colored Spider-Man and X-Men and Night Thrasher and New Warriors. Some yellow. This is a good rusty color. Some yellow in here. Let me do some rust. Some rust? Yeah. I'm just adding a little bit of yellow in certain spots, like the fiery eyebrows, illuminating some of this. Oh, you went green with the inside of the thing, right? I wanted to. That's fine. I already called the eyes um, red, so. It's fine. I like the green, actually. I may add a darker green to it, too. Well, the green's all here. Okay, thank you. sharpened all the good if you want you can have this one this no one. i like this one this one's good it'll be it'll be good to blend oh one. yeah You want to use the screen too? Yeah, after you're done. Yeah, sure. You see how I like, I'll do spots where I'll go from dark to light? Yeah. It just makes it look a little bit like it's 
folding. I love these new chairs. You like they're new so, chairs? They're so comfortable. It's nice having new chairs, right? No, we just need a new table. And then, like, All right. I'm going to add a little bit of um, oh, this, is this yellow to his teeth. Let's have some teeth here again. No, oh, that doesn't really show up too well, but... I'll do this one. Maybe this. A little bit better. Makes him look like he hasn't brushed his teeth in a while. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I know how it makes... How it, I can make it look like he didn't brush his teeth in a while. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Chocolate teeth. Chocolate teeth. Some of those brown horns. Oh, it's not really showing up either. Sorry if it sounds like I'm mumbling. Sometimes I talk to myself when I'm drawing, so um, I may not be projecting all that well. But yeah, so there's my guy. I Are you going to do a background? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I want to add a little bit of pink into this, into his skin, I think. Pink? Yeah, just a little bit. I think it'll look cool. It's pinkish purple color here. Yeah, I think that looks nice. What do you think? Looks like he's running at me. Looks like he's running at you? Yeah. Mine's kind of looks like he's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> like, you should look. color like in the eyebrow in this part. See how I colored mine in the same color? Uh, I'll do it with this I mean, you don't color. have to, but just a suggestion. But it kind of looks like he's actually really frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Freezing pal. Yeah. What about coloring this, this part of his eye right in here? Hey. I guess I'll go with this color because no one uses this color. Good idea. Add a little pink into his lips here. This guy came out fun. Oh, man. We, we sh oh, wait. I don't know if I want to give this one away now. I had too much fun doing yeah. this. <laughs> it makes it even more special that I get to draw with you. So I don't really like to give up those, give away those drawings too often. And then easily we can sell them at, um. Oh, you think we can sell these easily? I don't know if people are going to want to buy these, but who knows? Never mind. You want to write in cursive? Yeah, I want to write my name cursive. Okay. But right. I keep forgetting how to write it. <laughs> um, like, it would pop up to my mind. You want me to show you? Oh, I'm going to reach through the camera. Let's see, it's been a while since I've drawn cursive. Let's see. Uh, how do you do a capital K? Let's see. Uh, I would do like... What? How do you spell your name? K <laughs> I know, I know. E... O L L like that. How do you do that E so perfectly? Uh, I, I think you're right. Your body's right. So I just do a normal K, and then the E, the O. Okay, never mind. I don't want to do it. <laughs> too complicated. It's not too complicated. You need to practice. That's all. Kelly wants to practice his cursive. It's been a long time since I've written in cursive. So these came out great. So wait. I'm very how, happy. How do we make a whole team of Dude. like um time traveler? Or okay, are traveler? these guys part of the team? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Remember these guys, everybody? So these were our Wait, first that's cylindrical. Mine. That's yours, and yeah, this is mine. Yeah. Yeah. But these are the new ones. Look at these. These came out fun. Thank you for drawing with me. <laughs> oh, what happened? Hey, did you color his face on the inside? Oh, yeah, he did. Okay. You giving him some pink in his lips? And you'll notice what I did right here. I added a little gray, like from dark to light, just to give it that rounded look. And I added, did the same thing with the light blue. <laughs> if you wanted to add that. 
Thank you again, everybody. Kale is just finishing up a couple little details in his. Um, high five. <laughs> Back up so they can see your. Oh, I'm getting a hug. Can't beat that. All right. So there they are. Finished. Thank you for hanging out with us while we color. We appreciate it. Color and draw. And uh, we will be back real soon with a new video. Cool beans. Peace, love, and... and cool beans. And cool beans. <laughs> Peace, love, and art, everybody. Have a great night.